Hey everyone, it's Jonathan at The Rock Shop in 311 Broadway in historic downtown Paducah where positive energy works and this is Ask a Witch. Jonathan, this viewer asks, I'm just getting started uh, in my practice and I wanted to set up my altar. What are some things that I must have on my altar? Okay, so here's what's really wonderful about a witch's altar. All of them are absolutely different. So I have this uh, multiple altars. Uh, my altar, my main altar that I use right now is my bedroom. It's quite large. It's a large uh, cast iron coffee table with all kinds of stuff. I have all my herbs and stuff on it. But my very first altar, I was in college and it was a turned over milk crate and a tablecloth from Walmart. Uh, and that is, it's still to this day, one of my most effective altars. Uh, so when we, when we have an, when a witch has an altar, we just want to make sure that all of the elements are represented, earth, air, fire, and water. Uh, how you choose to represent those, totally up to you. A bowl of water will do good for water. Uh, if you have any crystals or stones, that'll do good for earth. Salt is good for earth. Uh, air, you can have a feather. Uh, you can use lit incense. Uh, fire, you can have a little red candle. I mean, you can have some matches there. The point is to represent. Obviously, I'm not saying for fire, set your altar on fire. That's Don't, don't be ridiculous. Uh, I'm as, su as, as sure as I'm sitting here, someone's going to try to do that, and I am not responsible. <laughs> but anyway, so your altar can be as big or as small as you want it to be. I know there are some people who, uh, maybe you live with roommates or you live at home, uh, and you're not out yet. They, your people that you're with don't know that you're a practicing witch, and so you you can put up your altar when you need it box it up and take it down when you don't need it. Or you could be like me, where I'm married. My husband knows I'm a witch. My cat knows that I'm a witch. My dogs know that I'm a witch. And they think it's just grand and all of my altars are up in every room I own. Uh, so that totally depends on you. Uh, and here's a, a real secret. In order to practice Wicca and witchcraft, you don't even really need an altar. Because at the end of the day, especially with Wicca, it's a, a relationship between you and deity and between you and the universe. And you can just go out and sit under a tree. The whole world could be your altar if you want it to be. So there is no right or wrong way to be a witch, guys. And, you know, an altar space is nice because, you know, it's, it gets you in the right mindset and it's very reverent and, uh, and it can be very pretty too. You know, I love pretty things. But uh, an altar is not required to be a practicing witch any more than a wand is required or an athame is required or candles are required or clothes are required. You can be a witch any way you want to be. Uh, but if you're going to have an altar, that's kind of how we like to do things. You know, you want to make sure you, you give reverence to, uh, to all of the elements uh, that come from God and Goddess. So, earth, air, fire, water, stuff like that. All right, guys, that was this week's episode of Ask a Witch. If you have any questions you would like the answer to that I can possibly help you with, guys, shoot us a message, information at the bottom of the video. Light and love to all of you.